Today we are going to be talking about sleep. If you're a junior or a senior with a very bad case of senioritis, you might be saying, What is this word sleep you speak of? I literally play League until 3 a.m. because I have nothing better to do anymore. You know who you are, okay? You got, you got to know who you are. Well, today is the day to expound the bounteous virtue of sleep. Just kidding. No, sleep sucks. What are you talking about? You know what? I don't know anymore. Let's just get into the video. Hello everybody, I'm Karara, and today we're talking about my philosophy on sleep. Also, sorry I haven't been getting any, like, more educational videos out because, like, I've been super busy this week. I've had eight hours of work each day. I have a project due for my Berkeley class, and then Wednesday suck for me because that's when I record my Friday videos. Because I have a class at, like, seven, so that gives me, like, an hour to record, so that's also problematic. But don't worry, we will be getting onto the cool stuff soon. But this is more of a fun video because I think that sleep is a very important thing to talk about, and I think that a lot of people have the wrong conception about sleep, okay? So I will admit that people have very different opinions on what the heck good sleep means, okay? I personally can barely get out of bed after getting 8 hours of sleep every single day. And then today, I was getting out of bed, I look at my phone, and I got two texts from my friend. The first one was sent at 2am, and guess when the second one was sent? 6 a.m. Like what, bruh? I can barely survive off of eight hours of sleep, and this guy's asking me questions at 2 a.m., sleeping for three hours, and then waking up at six and asking me again. Like what the heck? How how does this even happen? This is crazy. And I asked him what the heck is this sleep schedule, and he was like, Oh yeah, it's, I'm fine with it. It's totally cool. So clearly, different people have different tolerances for sleep. Three hours versus eight hours. Like what the heck? So there's no one rule that applies to everybody, but I do think that there are a couple important guidelines that everybody could benefit from. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I think that my sleep schedule is probably the most important thing to my productivity. Like if I didn't set a good sleep schedule for myself, I would not do half of the things I get to do. So it is time to derive the beautifulest sleeping strategy in the universe together, okay? So either you can sleep a ton, right? You, you'll feel a lot more fresh in the morning, you'll have not be tired at all. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm still tired after getting so much sleep. But still, that's not the point. Or you could sleep less and get more work done, right? You just have more time in your day to get more work done. So what is the actually best strategy? Well, what I think is that eight hours of sleep a day is the best strategy there is out there, okay? Okay, don't yell at me, okay? I know that eight hours of sleep is not that feasible, okay? I know that that's crazy stuff. Also, I'm not your doctor, so I'm not gonna spout health benefits at you. Literally spouting health benefits is probably the worst way to convince someone to sleep more. When was the last time your mom came up to you and was like, hey son, I don't like your five hours of sleep. It's gonna be bad for your health. Sleep for eight hours. And you're like, yes, I think that's a great idea. I'm gonna sleep for 10 hours a day. Thank you, mom. I don't think that ever happened to you, okay? That, there's no way that happened to you. So in order to prove to you guys that aiming for eight hours a day is actually a good idea, I'm gonna talk in terms of productivity because that is the most important thing, okay? If you're more productive, you can do whatever the heck you want. I think the most important life skill you could possibly have is being able to decide on what you wanna do and actually do it instead of being like dragged off by YouTube or PewDiePie, okay? I will admit, I'm sometimes dragged off by PewDiePie. He has a very strong grip, what can I say? But the more you can reduce that, the better, right? So basically to get eight hours of sleep, what I do is I set my sleeping time to a very specific time and I set my waking up time to be a very specific time. So during the school year, right, I basically slept at 11 every day and I woke up at 7.15 every day. So that's like eight hours and 15 minutes, so that gave me a little bit of wiggle room to sleep a little bit later if I forgot to do some homework, which happened way too much, but it's okay. Now the first reason why the strategy actually works is not just because I can't handle six hours of sleep, right? I can handle six hours of sleep. I'll just be a little bit drunk for the last two hours of the day, but I can still handle it. The actual reason is because it forces you to be disciplined. If you don't care at all about the health benefits, you should care about the fact that it keeps you on track. It's like setting a deadline for yourself, right? You know how like you started that Hamlet essay at 11.58 when it was due at 11.59, that's right? Well, that's because you work better when you're under deadline pressure, okay? If I ever start a project like a week before it's due, I don't do anything, okay? It's just a blank paper, even though I'm staring at the paper, okay? I stare at it so good, but it just, nothing happens. But when the deadline comes, that is when the magic starts to happen. So essentially, by setting a specific sleeping time, you're setting a deadline for your day. So essentially, everything you wanted to get done that day has to get done by when you sleep, right? So if you're very strict about that, you can get a ton more done because you're like, okay, I only have two more hours in the day. I gotta start doing my work. If you don't have a set sleeping time, you could be like, oh man, I'm so tired today. Let me just relax for a little bit. I'll finish the homework right, right, right after, okay? And then it becomes 12 a.m. and you're like, okay, I still didn't finish the homework, but I'm anyway staying up late. Might as well watch some more YouTube. This is gonna be great. And then it's 3 a.m. and you're like, Okay, I'm, I'm anyway staying up this long. Might as well watch a little bit more YouTube. The, the homework is only due at 8 a.m., okay? That's when school starts. I don't need to worry about it until then. And then you pull an all-nighter and it's 8 a.m. And you're like, okay, whatever. We're doing the homework now. Great. 
like, I have a couple friends who have, like, done this kind of thing before, and they admit it, okay? They're like, I watched way too much YouTube that day, that's why I had to stay up that much, okay? Now, I'll admit that some of those days in junior year, you're just like, okay, I have, like, 600 projects due tomorrow, I have to stay up late. I understand that. But by setting a specific deadline for when you have to sleep, you force yourself to spread it out. Because if you don't set the deadline, you're just going to try to do the entire project just through pulling an all-nighter. But if you force yourself to finish at that certain time, then you're guaranteed to be more productive on previous days because you know that you can't go past that time. I got really lucky because my parents forced me to sleep at 11. Like, if I stay up anymore, they're like, what the heck are you doing? You go to your bed or I'm gonna kill you. Okay, fine, they don't actually do that, but <laughs> basically what it feels like. So essentially, I have a deadline for myself every single day of the week, and that forces me to be productive. So that's essentially what got me through junior year. In order to make the most of a good sleep schedule, you'll have to, like, schedule your time out. Like, what you should do is you should say, I wanna finish A, B, and C today and then it'll take approximately this much time, finish them, and then you could base it on how much time you have left in the day to see how much you could relax. Like let's say A takes one hour, B takes two hours, and C takes one hour, and you have like five hours left in your day. Then you know that you'll have one hour for relaxation, so you'll limit yourself to that much time. That worked really well for me because I basically was able to finish all the stuff I wanted to do and have some time to relax afterwards. It was kind of bad though because I only got to relax like 20 minutes every day in order to sleep at 11, so that sucked, but you get used to it, okay? If you manage to keep this discipline, it's really beneficial. Now, the other reason why having this kind of sleep schedule is beneficial is because it doesn't, it forces you to not think that you're being cool by staying up late. Some people act really macho, right? They're like, just like, oh, I slept at 5 a.m. and I'm still like, still happy. And I, I get really triggered because I could barely survive over eight hours of sleep. And I'm like, what, what? And I'll admit it, okay, I've acted macho too, okay? On the last day at Prove It Math Academy, which I did in eighth grade, uh, we did an all-nighter and we were playing like tag and I'm like, hey, this is totally fine. And then 4 a.m. came around and then I'm like, oh, come on, ugh, I gotta sleep, dude. I have a flight at 6 a.m., this is gonna suck. And everybody like, bruh, but what can I say? I can't handle it. But the thing is, in my opinion, it's harder to sleep on time than it is to sleep late. Because anybody could sleep late, they just don't go to sleep until they're like dead tired. Like, when I go to sleep, I'm not dead tired, but I could stay up a little bit more and not die. But that's not the point. Sleeping early shows that you have finished your stuff and you're able to finish it on time. Okay, I've talked a lot about why you should sleep early, but you should also wake up really early, okay? I know that's really hard for some people. I'll admit, me too. We had this quiz bowl tournament really early in the day one time and then one of my friends texts me at like 5 a.m. And I'm like, hey, what you doing up, up at 5 a.m.? The quiz will turn in, it's only at 7. And he's like, oh, I just didn't feel like sleeping, so I just got out of bed. <laughs> Bro. Like, honestly, I aspire to be that way. Like, I, I, I wish I didn't need an alarm to wake up, but there's nothing wrong with using an alarm. As long as you're disciplined enough to put that alarm, that's good enough, okay? Now, I'll admit, me getting out of bed does not look like this, okay? It looks a little bit more like this, okay? And once you wake up, things just become a lot more easier because if you wake up early, right, you can have a set morning routine. And if you have a set morning routine, you can feel good about yourself early on in the day. Once you're done with your morning routine, you can say, oh, I finished this, this, and this. Hooray, I've actually accomplished something today, and now I have the rest of the day to do actual work. So basically what I try to do is I try to wake up as early as possible, finish my workout, finish my, like, daily dose of math or whatever the heck I wanted to do that day. And then once I'm done with my morning routine, then I spend the rest of the day just doing whatever. But honestly, if you're able to wake up really consistently, it, it's a really big confidence booster. And I don't know, it, it just makes the day a lot more productive. So yeah, I'm far from an early bird. I would sleep till 11 if I could, but just by forcing myself to wake up at 8 a.m. every day or 7, 15 a.m. every day, it forces me to be productive, basically. I think in sophomore year, I was literally waking up at like 7, 15 to 8, like every single day, including weekends. That was kind of crazy for software me. I kind of got lazy now. I only wake up at like 9.30s on weekends now, but I don't know. The earlier you can wake up, the better you'll feel about yourself. It's really good. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't talk about the health benefits, but come on, come on, come on. Just because it's not going to help, I'm going to let it throw it out there, right? You know what? Honestly, I did not pay attention whenever my doctor was like, you get health benefits from sleeping, so sorry. Don't have anything for you guys. But anyway, that's basically all I have to say, right? Just make sure you have a set sleep schedule and then schedule your day around your sleep schedule, okay? Do not break your sleep schedule for whatever reason. If you could manage a sleep schedule throughout junior year, 
you are set for life. Okay, no, okay, fine. Maybe not. But like, it's actually really helpful for your self-esteem. It's really helpful for getting things done. And it shows that you have a lot of self-control. So thank you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was not a particularly useful video, but thank you guys for watching again. And see you guys next time.